Hey hey everyone and welcome to another HitFilm tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to make this spin transition in HitFilm Express. Today's video tutorial will be rated 2 stars out of 5 on the difficulty scale. And before we begin this video, a quick reminder to subscribe to my YouTube channel Shiny Films if you want more videos like this one, and follow me on Twitter at shiny underscore films for more constant updates than I can give here on YouTube. So first steps first, you've got to get your two clips. I've got two clips here of this girl running in Harvest, it's just stock footage, of course you can use whatever you want to use. And today I'm actually going to create a composite shot that contains both clips and then apply effects to that composite shot. So you'll see what I mean. The first thing, I'm just going to get the first clip that I want to play first. I'm just going to hit right click, make composite shot. And just going to hit OK, leave it all the same. We've just got the clip playing here in the composite shot as you can see. And I'm just going to now grab the second clip and drag it over the first clip. So now it'll have the first clip playing and then the second clip will start playing. And I just want to make sure that it cuts at the right time, so somewhere around here is where I want the spin transition to start cutting. And I'm just going to cut this one as well, or shorten it, so that it starts, uh, it plays back, it starts playing back when the camera moves down, so we have that nice effect. Okay, so it's at this point that the transition happens. But instead of applying all of our effects to these two clips separately, I think the easiest thing to do would be to apply it to this whole comp shot. So I'm just going to grab the comp shot here in the media panel and just hit right click, make composite shot out of this composite shot. Just hit OK and now we've got this second comp which has that comp which contains both those clips in. And when we play it back you'll notice that we have both of those clips in the same place but they appear as one clip, one composite in our timeline and that makes it much easier to animate and use. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to find uh, the position uh, here the frame where they change and we're just going to start keyframing some values namely rotation so at this point I'm just going to open up the clip like so open up transform and I'm just going to uh, hit the circle next to rotation and that'll create a keyframe for us at rotation you'll notice this diamond appears in the middle here and that means that at this point in time it saved a keyframe it saved what the rotation will be at this frame which is currently zero degrees but I want to change this to be 90 degrees, like so. And now we're just going to go one second back to four seconds and nine frames. And I'm just going to set it to be zero. And then we're going to go to six seconds and nine frames. And we're just going to make it 180. So let's just play this back and see what it looks like. So that's the kind of spin that I want to happen, but it's not really as smooth as I'd like it. And so to smooth out this animation, we can change the uh, interpolation of these keyframes. I'll just highlight all these keyframes with the marquee just by dragging. And then open up the value graph here. If you open up the value graph, you'll notice that it just changes position from here and then just slowly goes to 180 in a straight line. And we want it to be a little bit more smooth than that. So to change the interpolation or basically how the value changes between these keyframes, if we want to change that, to be however we want, we can select this circle button over here which converts the keyframes to manual bezier. And now you can see the curve looks a little bit smoother. Let's just zoom into the timeline here using the timeline scale. And now we have a really great representation of what's going on. I'm going to drag in the middle here these two values. I'm going to drag it down like this. And I'm dragging this one up. And basically now it'll slowly go uh, and at the middle, it'll go really fast and the rotation will change a lot. And then at the end, it'll slowly go back down uh, to 180. So let's play this back. So that actually doesn't look too bad. And of course, you can adjust these ones as well uh, and adjust these even more if you want to have uh, more harsh interpolation or you just want to change the interpolation. This is a great thing to mess around with uh, to adjust the smoothness of this, of this spin in your transition. So that's the main part of the transition already over with. We've got that smooth spin out of the way. But of course, there's a couple of things that are very wrong with this. First of all, you might have noticed that it just uh, spins around to an upside down version of this clip because it's rotated 180 degrees. So if we go back to this original comp, this second clip 
if we just uh, rotate this one 180 degrees, no need to add any keyframes or anything, just rotate 180 degrees, and then we go back into here, you'll notice it's the right way round. So that's all good. The next thing we're going to want to do is actually add motion blur. Now this is optional, and you don't have to do this, but if you just hit the motion blur button here, you'll notice that when it spins round, it's got a lot of blur in it, and that makes for a much, much smoother transition that looks more realistic. And the final thing we're going to do uh, to make sure that all of this uh, is actually a proper transition is you'll notice, of course, that we've got lots of black or transparent areas around our image here, which is, of course, not what we want. So we're going to have to fill these in with the video somehow. And the best way to do that is to tile it. And we're going to tile it around using the shake effect. I know. So if we just uh, close up everything and close up the value graph, if we just uh, grab the shake effect here and drag it onto our clip, you'll notice it'll do the normal thing where it just shakes the clip around like the shake effect normally would. But if we go into the controls and open up the shake effect, and we just drag the amount all the way down to zero, it actually won't have any effect and it won't shake the video at all. Now that we've got the video with the shake effect but no actual shake effect on it, we can utilize one of the shake effects uh, tools to uh, help us scale this video down. And that is, believe it or not, the scale value here. If we just select uh, 0.5 in this, you'll notice that it scales the video down until it's half the size of it, what it was before. And it tiles the video. So you can see here in areas like this, uh, the actual transition seems pretty seamless because it's just tiled the video. You can notice it more when the head uh, is kind of tilted this way, but uh, it shouldn't matter that much. The transition is only going to be on for like a second or so anyway. And if you want to, you can adjust this in wrap. If you select it to be something like tile, then it'll tile it. But if you select reflect, which is usually going to be working better, then you can reflect it like so. And now all we have to do is we have to scale this up 200%. And now our video fills the frame, but it also has areas on the outside where uh, it spins as well, and you can still see the effect. But there is a pretty big problem with this. Uh, it's because we've scaled the video up 200%, now it's become really pixelated, and the video in the middle here is not quite as sharp as we'd like it. And so an easy way to fix this is to just duplicate this effect, duplicate the video I should say, and just remove the shake effect on the top one and set the scale back to 100%. And now we have a non-pixelated version. You can see you can have a sharp version on top of the softer version. And we still have the softer version playing in the background with the 200% scale. And that's a super simple way to create a spin transition in HitFilm Express. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, then make sure to hit the like button down below to tell others that you like this video. And if you want more videos like this one, then be sure to subscribe to my channel or just check out other videos on my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Stay shiny.